Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do probability. Now remember all that we have been doing so far is all the counting principles, the factorials and the different rules. But we haven't worked with probability. From your previous work we know that probability is the favorable outcomes over the total number of outcomes. What we also know is that when I am working with the word or, then I would add all the options. Remember if you had a Venn diagram and you had three in the first one and four in the second one and third, then if I said what is the probability of A or B, you would tell me four plus three plus two. So you would take all the options in A or B. And then I would give it over the total, which is over 20. So what I'm emphasizing on is that when I use the word or, I took all the options, which means that in other cases where we don't draw Venn diagrams, we are going to use the concept of plus. Also, before we do probability, go over the previous videos where we had discussed repetition of letters. Now let us take the following question. So if I give you the word weather, the letters are treated identical. Now you must remember if you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven options. That is what we would have said that is the factorial of seven. And what happens when we say the letters are treated identical? Then we are using the rule that states that if I have repeated letters and they are treated as identical, so maybe I have two E's or two F's or three G's, then it would be N factorial over the repeated letters. Now if we look at this, because they tell us the words that are repeated are treated identical. Now we need to see which letter is repeated. E is repeated. So that would be over 2 factorial. So we have 7 factorial over 2 factorial. And our final answer would be 2520. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the total number of outcomes. So since they are telling us that the letters are treated identical, I know that the total number of outcomes that I can get is 2520. Now look at the next question. Calculate the probability if the words made must start with an E and end with a W. Okay, now we know we have seven letters. If it must start with a W and it must end with an E. So we got whether we are taking out the W and we are taking out an E. What do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. We have five letters and they are not the same. Since there is no repetition, there is no word that's the same because remember we've taken out E. So all we worried about is what is happening inside this block. Because we can't change W and E, they stuck. So we know that for this block we're going to have five factorial. Now that just tells us how many arrangements we can make. But what is the probability? The probability would be 5 factorial over 2520 because that is the total options that we have. Remember, probability is equal to favorable outcomes over total number of outcomes. Our final answer is 5 factorial over 2520 which is 1 over 21. That is the probability. I'm emphasizing again that how did we get this 5 factorial? We knew all the positions by using our factorial rules. How did we know the total? By using the options that we also have learned under repetition of same letters. Let's take another one. We now say that a code is chosen by using 3 letters and 5 numbers. So we know that we have 8 positions In the eight positions, we have three letters and we have five numbers. Now they tell us that the letters and numbers can be repeated. 
if it can be repeated. That means if I have 26 alphabets, I can have 26 in the one, 26 in the second one, 26 in the third one. And from the numbers, I have how many numbers? All in all, we have 10 digits. Because if you take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, gives us 10 digits. So what we have is 26 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 5. Now what have we calculated here? What we have calculated now is the total favorable outcomes. So our total favorable outcomes is 26 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 5. You don't need to simplify because as we're doing probability, it would be easier to press this into the calculator. Now let us look what the question says. The question says it has only one 5 in it. Now, if I'm working with the numbers because 5 is a number, that means my alphabets are not affected at all. So I know, okay, I'm going to have 26 to the power of 3. That is not affected. Now, if it has to have only one 5 in it, what that means is I can have a 5 year, 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 and I can have a 5 year. So in all in all, how many places can the 5 go in? It can go into 1 place, 2 place, 3 place, Four place five places so I know I'm gonna say five positions for the number five but since it can only go in one time once I've used the five so let's say I've used it up here I will only have nine options left in the other four remaining slots so remember you have five slots for the numbers you've used the five in one slot then, in the next slot, I can put any of the nine numbers. So what do I have? Nine to the power of four. But the reason I'm saying five has five positions, remember it is not five because we are talking of the number five. It is five because we are talking of the positions five have. Let's say I put nine here. And then I've got my five. And then I've got a 9, 9, 9. Remember when I'm talking of the 9s, I'm talking of the other numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that is what I'm referring to now. So this 5 can move here, or it could move here, or it could move here. So all in all, the 5 has 5 places. What is our total number of favorable outcomes? It is 26 to the power of 3 times 5 times 9 to the power 4 over our total outcomes was 26 to the power 3 times 10 to the power of 5. So what is the probability? If you use that, then your total probability, you can use your calculator now, it would equal to 0, 0,32805. Now let us go to the next one. They say has at least at least one B. Now this becomes very challenging because if you look at least one B, remember these three are the alphabets and these five are the numbers. Now the numbers are not going to be affected. We have 10 options here, we have 10 options here, we have 10 options here, 10, 10. So we know for this part we have 10 to the power of 5. But when they say it must have at least one B. Now with at least one B, look at how many options we can have. We can have B here, but then here we could have 26 letters and we can have 26 letters. Why do I say that? Because when they say at least one B, they are not saying you can't repeat. But then we could have a B here. And we could have had our 26s there. Or we could have the B here. Can you see? So we actually have one option, two options, three options. When they're saying at least, what happens when you have two Bs? Now remember, this is also going to change. And then you can have it as this way.
And what happens is we could end up with almost nine or ten options. So when they say I need at least one B, then you must remember there is so many options for B. B can be in position one, position two, position three. Then I can have two Bs and that can be in different position. Then I can have three Bs and that can be in different position. So what we use is we say, okay, that is a lot of Bs. And remember the probability of no A's plus the probability of A is equal to 1. Remember that was the complementary rule that we had used. So if I said what is the probability of no B's plus the probability of B's is equal to 1. Calculate what is the probability of no B's. If I had no B's I would have had 25 in position 1, 25 in position 2, 25 in position 3. Then for the numbers, I'd have 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10 options, so 10 options, 10 options. So I'd have 25 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 5. But this is not the probability. Probability has to be over the total outcomes. And we worked out the total to be 26 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 5. 26 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 5. What we had calculated now is the probability of not B. But if we want the probability of having at least one B, then we're going to say one minus the probability of not B. And you would end up with one thousand nine hundred and fifty one all over 17,576. So be careful when they say at least, you can't do this. This is time consuming and there is many more I haven't yet written down because then we have the three Bs and the three Bs can then add to our lot and it's too hard. So you must start using the not rule, the complement not rule. Okay, let's look at the last one. It says it must start with a B and end with a 5. Now again we know we've got three alphabets and we've got five numbers. It must start with a B and it was end, it must end with a 5. Now they don't say anything about us not repeating the words or not repeating the letters, not repeating the numbers. They're still maintaining that we can repeat it. So what options do we have here? We have 26 options in the first one we have 26 options in the second one and for the numbers we have 10 options 10 options 10 options 10 options so our total favorable is 26 to the power 2 times 10 to the power of 4 but what is the probability what is the total amount of outcomes 26 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 5 now if you use your calculator you get 1 over 260 Thank you for watching.